What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today I'm going to talk about, man, the LSU Tigers have officially um, gave the numbers, the playmaker number seven number um, to a player that we all expected probably should have get it, yo. Um, but before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. Uh, may not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, uh, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Um, come high and let your boy, yo. Um, and officially, the, the number seven... For the 2021 LSU Tigers will be cornerback Derek Stingley Jr., yo. And obviously, I mean, it's the right choice. <laughs> you know, um, I mean, the best cover corner in the country. And he's arguably been the best cover corner in the country since he stepped foot on camp at LSU. Um, his freshman year, which was the national championship year, he was dominant that year. He was absolutely dominant. Um. I seen um, one of the scouts basically said um, in his first, his freshman and sophomore year, if he was draft eligible, you know, he would have went top 10. Basically, they're saying he would have been a top 10 pick if he could have come out after his freshman year. Um, elite ball skills, athleticism, um, you know, tall, long, range, just, just, just playmaking all around, yo. And, you know, what better person on this team right now to have that number, man? Um, obviously, we know this number is is very, you know, is very sacred and has a, a rich tradition to it. Um, you know, you had guys even back in the day. You had Trey Falk rocking number seven. You know, you had Ali Highsmith, you know, rocking number seven. Then with this new era, you know, you had Patrick Peterson. Then, you know, Tyron, um, Honey Badger, Matthew. Um, excuse me. You know, you had. Uh, Leonard Farnett, um, you know, we messed up one year where we gave it to a guy that didn't quite earn, and that was the Jonathan Giles guy that came in from Texas Tech, who we all thought coming from there, he was Patrick Mahomes' number one receiving target. We thought he was going to come in and just ball, and it didn't quite go that way. Um, you know, DJ Chark, uh, DJ Chark had it. Um, you know, Grant Dell put a couple of years. It would have been Jamar Chase last year, but of course we know he opted out and then it ended up being Jacoby Stevens. Um, you know, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned Grant Delpit or not. Uh, but yeah, man, that is the playmaker number. You know, if you rock the number seven at LSU, you that guy. <laughs> like, you are that guy. Um, I think obviously like a season like next season, you'll see probably Keyshawn Boutte rocking it, but um, Shout out to Stingley, man. Um, at LSU, this is a huge honor. Um, I know people, other schools, like, you know, whatever, it's just a number. But at LSU, number 18 and number 7 are numbers that when you put those numbers on, you really, really mean something to LSU, um, not only the football team, but for the university. Um, Derek Stingley is our new number 7, yo. Uh, but, um, but that's all I got for y'all today. Uh, appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have LSU and NCAA content throughout the year. Also, no live Q&As this month. Um, be busy coaching my daughter's softball team, but I'll try to get back at it in June. Um, Y'all come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.